We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Tyler Croft, the newest member of the Miami Dolphins, got signed yesterday, and he just adds some solid blocking tight end depth to the roster. He's for sure a wide tight end inline guy. That's where he's at his best blocking in line as a run blocker, pass blocker. He can be your third tight end. He spent his past season in San Francisco. We played about 260 snaps, which is pretty good. Like those types of snaps go under the radar. Your third tight end is not someone you really think about a lot, but he made some impactful plays in the running game. He's super help helpful in those areas. And I'm actually like, he was a better blocker than I expected because I remember watching him coming out of college. Wasn't the greatest there, but he has familiarity with the scheme coming from the Niners and the year before that with the Jets. They run very similar things, and then he just adds some solid depth. He's a very similar player to Smythe and Saubert, actually, being an inline guy, helping on double teams, climbing to the second level. You don't really want him as your move tight end. He's not great at blocking on the move. He whiffs, like when I watch him work some split zone going across the formation, he whiffed almost all those blocks. But when you get him working combos, climbing to the second level, he can really make an impact in those areas. You can see him working on this combo right here. Initially gets some help blocking to this defensive tackle right there. But with help from Trent Williams, but once he gets in complete control, this is impressive. This is a big guy right here. He's one-on-one -on -one against. And you can see he squares him up, and you can just see the torque. He's got the high hand, the low hand, and he just torques him to the ground, uses the hips, upper body, moves him out of the way, and then creates this space for McCaffrey to hit this hole on a third and one situation to help you know him pick up about five yards on the play. Very good work. You can see some play strength there, understanding how to you know position yourself, and then yeah, he just positions, flips his hips, uses the torque, and then creates the lane through this gap for the running back. Impressive stuff. Uh, run blocking was definitely better than I expected, but those are the types of players they're looking for. He's not going to add too much value to the passing game, but you're not really looking from that from the your you know your tight end three type of player anyways. And obviously, there's, it's not a guarantee he makes the roster, but I would say with the tight end room that they look at now, it's not a ton of bodies there, and it's not a ton of top-tier talent, so I think he has a pretty good chance of making the team. Great to see Croft attached again, but this time in pass pro. Um, didn't see a bunch of pass pro reps, but this is one-on-one -on -one versus a defensive end, like edge rusher, who's you know not a bad player either, and he does you know a decent job. He's a rookie, actually, but just squares him up, gets into his stance. like He's one-on-one -on -one in space with a pure edge rusher. Good uh, you know hand placement right there. Keeps a pretty solid base, active feet, bends his knees, gets his hips into it, and then, you know, good grip strength and just complete control of the situation. Uh, his feet are tied with his hands. He just keeps him active. Uh, really nice quality rep just with technique-wise in pass pro. Doesn't even give that edge rusher a chance at all. Just another area he could, you know, help the team out. Like, Dolphins will rotate a bunch of tight ends, and you'll see him. He, he could easily, you know, play, like, about 100 to 200 snaps next season, and those plays will be you know go under the radar for the player but they're impactful to the team and i think he can be a you know quality third wide tight end some textbook stuff climbing to the next level tries to help on this combo here getting down sort of you know help 76 initially and then just create this lane by positioning yourself here so watch him get down help out 76 he attacks the low hip when you're working a combo like this you attack the low hip which allows 76 to complete control of the situation and you know maneuver his body so he can create a, you know, a lane for the uh, running back here. And then Croft gets his eyes to number 56, the linebacker, and just use your positioning. Sometimes, you know, it's not about displacing, moving guys. It's just about putting your body in the right spot. Use your hips to cut this guy off, you know, and then you create that lane for the running back to shoot up field, get, you know, a nice six yard gain. Really good work. It's not easy stuff. Uh, getting the second level like this climb, help out num your offensive lineman initially and then get there to the next level. Really impressive rep from Tyler Croft. Really like watching him use his hips to get his positioning in the run game right here. Just cutting this guy off. If, you know, uh, this defensive tackle didn't peel off to make this play, it would have been a perfect blocking rep from him. Just like, just watch his feet here, watch everything. He, you know, he gets off the line of scrimmage, stays square to make, you know, the initial contact. And then now he has that left hand. Left hand's a little wide outside the frame. Could maybe get a holding call. But right hand's got good positioning. And now you're just combining your feet with those hips. Really good footwork there. Use your f uh, hips to cut this guy off. And now once you've cut him off, you almost like anchor yourself to get complete control. And if this defensive tackle didn't peel off, it would have created a huge cutback lane for the running back. So really just excellent work from a positioning standpoint. And this is, you know possibly going to be like your third tight end 
he was the third tight end in San Francisco, still played about 260 snaps, and, you know, that's nothing, you know, to just write off. I mean, he'll be a better player than Hunter Long was last season. He was the third tight end for this team. So Croft actually kind of messes up on this play initially. I think he takes the wrong step, not knowing exactly what the play is, and he kind of gets tripped up running into his right tackle, but ends up actually somehow making up for it and still getting in complete control of blocking a guy, you know, down the field, sustaining. Really impressive stuff. I think he's expecting it to be a run to the opposite of the field because his first step's to the left here, and he just runs straight into his right tackle. He realizes he's running the wrong uh, sort of run scheme run concept with his initial step but makes up for it just climbs the second level he even slips a little tripping over the feet of you know the offensive lineman then gets up gets in complete control of 56 you know cuts him off sustained good grip strength use your hips to cut off and then it helps create a lane for McCaffrey to get into the end zone so you know not great initially you want to you know know your plays which I'm not too concerned about because he's been in this system now for a while so he understands his job but he still made up for it which is an impressive recovery from the tight end tyler croft right here and man right here the line of scrimmage versus this defensive end and just torque throw him out of the way get him out of the club you know he gets a little help from kittle but he uses that momentum to carry this guy out use that lower half use that upper body as well combine it you can see he has some power there to move these guys that's a still a big body guy and even though he gets help from kittle he used that to his advantage, extend the left arm, get him out of the way, uh, and then it helps create lanes for the running back to get upfield. Impressive work as that end guy. You know, usually on these outside zone runs, it's a couple different things that you can do. You can either try to reach him, but in this scenario, you're not really trying to capture the edge. You kind of want to open up and then work off the back of your tight ends to hit this lane, bang through. So once he has that defenseman has that little bit of outside leverage, he just tosses him out of the way really good work using your technique using you know the momentum and leverage of the situation and the help from your other tight end this is one of the few passes he caught pa this past season you know setting this up like you're gonna block fake the block get down the field uh on the wheel route not gonna have too much impact in the passing game but you know these types of plays will happen for sure uh you know every once in a while set up this like you're gonna block and then sneak out really good work from him uh not too nothing too crazy like I th you know when he came out of college, he was expected to be like a pretty solid receiving tight end. Didn't quite work out for him, but fake this block, get up field, get hands on, really sells it, which is nice. Um, he has uh, doesn't really use his hands there, catches his body, doesn't really need to use his hands. But he's got solid hands overall, was more of a receiver in years past. And then I would say yards after catch, nothing too crazy there. Doesn't really add too much to the offense in that area. But still, nice to see him at least make some big plays down the field. Croft as the Y again. Get to see him on this pitch just get to the second level instantly. He doesn't have to, you know, work the combo. It just gets in complete control of Devin White. Uh, doesn't have too much of an effect on this play because he, the running back cuts it back very quickly. But, you know, still a nice rep from him one-on-one. -on -one. Get to that second level. If they wanted to capture the outside, he gets this initially, you know, in control, complete control of the situation. And he stains, carries, leg drive, just impressive stuff working on a linebacker he's very comfortable blocking linebackers you got to be i you know i like the ability that he can block those bigger body defensive ends he can block linebackers enough athleticism there you just don't want him moving a bunch of pre-snap where he has to run like full speed into a block because a lot of times he ends up whiffing doesn't break down uh needs better footwork and base in those areas but i am comfortable with him as an inline tight end where he's moving just forward at a controlled pace staying square uh patient and then once he gets engaged, he's very good at sustaining his block with some solid grip strength and good footwork, hips, everything, nice balance, base, burst, all that stuff. One of his only catches last season actually was against the Dolphins. Um, you can see he actually moves pretty well out in space for a guy that's going to be like a third tight end, blocking tight end. Uh, like He was known as like a receiving tight end coming out of college. I remember these. Um, but yeah, he can make you know, impact in the passing game. You can see some solid movement there, You know, working past his linebacker, some fluid hips get into his break nothing too crazy now just you know working against the zone sit near the sidelines some solid awareness get your two feet in bounds uh make the catch sure-handed guy but just don't expect too much impact in the passing game uh even if he makes the team you know it's not guaranteed that he makes the team but just you know want to focus on these types of players because you you know those third tight ends those types you know roster bubble guys that people don't think about a ton 
they make a more of an they make more of an impact than people realize for the teams. Love this play from Tyler Croft. Another example of him, you know, helping with the combo, attack the low hip, and then cut off at the next level. He's so good at this. Like, really impressive work. Like, I was really impressed with his run blocking ability. Way better than I thought it would be. And just like thinking of like hearing about him in the past, um, he's clearly comfortable in this scheme. Understands what he's supposed to do tries to attack that low hit, but this guy gets pushed in pretty far anyways. And then now he's just positioned himself perfectly, get under control, good hand position, uh, good hand placement, good positioning overall, good balance base, everything with the, the bend there. And it's just completely over to create that lane. They just work so well in unison together, the offensive line and the tight ends on the Niners. Uh, so hopefully that can carry over and help out the Dolphins with their running game because I think they want to do that more of that type of thing next season. Last play that I'm going to break down from Tyler Croft. Here he is again, just immediately climbing to the second level and just bullying this linebacker. <laughs> Look at him, what he does to him, just taking him completely out of the play, helping Debo Samuel run on this like 51 yard uh, big scamper for him. And he just did, does a great job of sustaining these blocks for this linebacker. And initially like uh, on this run, he's thinking about blocking this uh, safety right here, but he really doesn't come down initially. So he doesn't want to take him on and he sort of veers his eyes off towards the middle of the field, sees this linebacker unblocked, and he's just like, okay, I'm going to take him. Really good job getting engaged, good hand placement, good base, good hips, and just carries, takes him completely out of the play, and creates a big running lane for Debo Samuel. So I really like the pickup as like a third string wide tight end. Obviously, he's not going to be much more than that. I mean, with the tight end room, it's not like there's a bunch of talent at the top with Durham Smythe, Eric Saubert. Those are guys you're thinking of as like tight end twos. Could Croft, you know, challenge them and get some more playing time? I think it's a possibility. They're all very similar style players. Um, I don't think this will like, I know that people will think this might affect maybe Elijah Higgins or Tanner Connor. Um, I don't really think so because those are definitely the different uh, outside guys. Those guys I feel like are fighting for a roster spot. And then the other three, I could see them easily carrying four tight ends because Dolphins have definitely done that in the past. And I think McDaniel likes to have those uh, players on the roster. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.